Hello and welcome to the video. This is quite a quick video, but it's about something that's very cool. Now, for those of you that have been watching for a little while, you'll know that uh, the latest build is with the Matek F405 Ardu uh, plane in an AR wing. And again, it's going swimmingly. Uh, there will be a Maiden video. Uh, I had a very quick try at a Maiden with a friend of mine. Uh, it was before I replaced the bootloader, so it wasn't booting every time. We managed to get it booted once at the field. As you can see, the launch was not successful. So uh, unfortunately, I couldn't have another go. So we are going to hopefully get that video out in the next week or two. But in the meantime, there's something I want to show you. Now, Crossfire is my favorite long range system for lots and lots of reasons. And if you don't watch any of the Crossfire videos on the channel, go and have a look uh, because it explains why Crossfire is an awful lot better than pretty much all the other ones I've tried. And this is what I'm about to show you, one of those really cool things. Now, for those of you that have been watching the AR wing build, you will know that I have connected the Unify Evo transmitter via CRSF. And that has allowed me to connect to it using the Lua script on the radio and to configure everything. And that's been working perfectly. But I only have four outputs on the little receiver that's inside here. So what I really want to be able to do is to play around with telemetry. And that usually means assigning a Mavlink transmit, Mavlink receive or something else. So you need two outputs. At the moment, I've only got one output spare. So I need to run the video transmitter and in a way that kind of gets rid of those extra connections and leaves me two spare ones for the telemetry investigation I want to do as part of this build later on. Now the cool thing about Crossfire is that you can actually control a smart audio video transmitter without a flight controller. You can actually get the receiver to do all of that good work for you. So that's exactly what I'm going to do here. It's one of those features that not a lot of people know about. It does mean that if you're going to build a plane or a wing or something else that doesn't have a flight controller in it, but you still want to be able to dynamically change the power levels bands, frequencies, channels, and all that goodness for your video transmitter, you can do it if you're using Crossfire, you just use the Lua script. So what I've had to do here is a little bit of uh, changing in how things are set up, and let me walk you through it. So let me show you how it currently works. If I just uh, jump in to the menu, run the Crossfire Lua script, and uh, show you how it works right now. Because we're connected via CRSF, you can see that the Unify Evo is just listed. And this is the way I've been using it so far. So if I just highlight the Unify Evo, here's all of the current settings, how it's all set up, um, and how everything's done, you know, the power levels and everything else. Now, um, ignore the fact it says 400 milliwatts on there. Uh, my video transmitter is still limited. It hasn't been unlocked. So even though it's set to 400, it doesn't change anything. Now I'm gonna change the data port to to smart audio and then what you'll notice is that that will stop the CRSF stuff use, uh, being used so the CRSF stuff disappears from the menu however going into the nano we can see that I've still got all that set up so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get rid and I'm going to set up output 4 as the smart audio piece now with that done then the receiver is actually outputting the smart audio signals needed to configure the video transmitter. And any smart audio video transmitter would work with this. It doesn't have to be a Team Black Sheep one, it could be anything. And quite a lot of people have adopted the smart audio telemetry stuff as the one to use. So now that's done, the next job then is to do a little bit of cabling. I just need to make sure that the one connection that you have here on the Unify Evo, uh, one of them is shared for both Smart Audio and the CRSF. I just need to make sure that that is the pin that's plugged into uh, channel 4 on the receiver. And once that's done, then I can control the video transmitter directly from the Crossfire receiver using the script. 
So let me show you what that looks like. So here we are, I have the machine powered up. Uh, we are running on Fat Shark 1 at the moment. We've got a nice, great picture. Um, so let me just come out of here and show you where you go in. So it's, this is configured on the receiver now. So if we go into the receiver, as it populates, you'll see that there's a VTX menu at the top. And this is the bit where you can change everything. So if I change this to Airwave 3, you'll see the video disappears. If I just change the screen to Fat Shark 3, there we are, we've got everything back. Perfect. So if I now go down, uh, change that back to Fat Shark 1, and then just go back to Fat Shark 1 the other way on the screen, there it is all working. So this is a really cute trick that uh, the guys at TBS have come up with. So if you want to be able to control a video transmitter that has smart audio and you don't have a flight controller in there, but you don't want to be chimping around pressing buttons on your VTX, then this is a really cool thing to be able to do. This is something that I've been thinking about playing with for a little while, but this setup has been the perfect opportunity. So hopefully that's interesting for those of you. Stay tuned for the uh, hopefully successful Maiden. And then because now we have two ports available on that receiver, we can mess around with some of the telemetry options and investigate that as the conclusion of the series. Thanks for watching the video and watching right to the very end. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you like the video and like what I'm doing here, then hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification icon too. If you really like what I'm doing, you can go the extra mile and become one of my Patreons for access to me directly for support and also giveaways and regular updates too. If you're looking for particular content, then check out the playlist. I organize all of my videos into playlists. So if you're looking for a particular topic, you can find everything here. If it's called Introduction 2, it's designed to start very simply and build on that simple introduction to teach you all about it. If it's called For Beginners, then that is really aimed at people who are brand new to that part of the hobby. You can also search on YouTube for anything that you're interested in using the search function at the top. So iNav Painless 360 will find all of my videos and even the playlists around iNav. So thanks again for watching and happy flying.